Too often do people blame the devil. And he has a very fav- favorite one, and I want to say this. I want you to hear me very carefully because I'm going to say this as loud as I can. People blame the devil. That people blame their sin because they think it's a generational thing. These are Christians. And they'll go into the closet and say, Oh, I'm an opa chruiki. Oh, he wasn't to witchcraft. That's why everything's going to... No! Isaiah 53, Isaiah 61 says that. That Jesus Christ came to loose the shackles of the prisoner. To free the prisoner. To open the eyes of the blind. And therefore Jesus Christ died on the cross. He has broken every generational curse that there has to be broken. There is no curse on your family if you are serving Christ. Do not receive those words. They are not for you. We break them in the name of Jesus. Amen. If you belong to Him, there is no curse. Because He became a curse on a tree for us. And He took on the curse of all humankind. So that whosoever believes on Him, you are not cursed. Do not look in the skeleton closet. Do not say this is happening I'm sinning because my Opa Chariki was into spiritualism. Oh, they did red tarot, tarot card. This is what's going on. No! My stomach's actually sore. You need to understand that. The devil's not to blame. You shall know the truth, says the book of John, chapter 8. You shall know the truth, and what shall it do for you? Set you free. And if you are free and in Christ, then you are free indeed. 32 and 34, John 8. Jesus has done it all. I will not hark back on anything that my granny did. And by the way, my, my, my granny was a spiritualist. She was into demons and all that stuff. But I know the day I gave my, law, my life to the living God, He came and He broke every generational curse that there is to be broken in my life. I serve Him with my heart. When things go wrong, I don't blame my granny, I blame myself. Yummy. Stop second-guessing God. If God did not, if Jesus Christ did not die on the cross, or if He died on the cross, and I'm still plagued with generation sins, that is not a God I want to serve. Then it's a half-baked gospel. There is no gospel that sets people free. Then God did a half-hacked job. But he went to the cross and he took the darkness and the sins of the world. And in his last breath, Tetelestai, it is finished. The work has been done. The curse has been broken. Satan has been defeated. He has become our footstool, says the book of Romans. And I have crushed the serpent. My God, Jesus Christ, went to the cross to atone for the sins of the world. And if He atoned for the sins of the world, then He has broken every single curse known unto man for those who believe on Him. Can you receive that? Can you receive that? Too long, people crushed. And they go to the closet. And things are going wrong and then they look at the Christianity. I'm not a Christian because this is happening, that's happening in my past and all this stuff and blah, 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 blah. He's broken the curse of sin in your life, dear mother. The Spirit of the Lord God, of, of, of the Lord, Lord God is upon me, said Jesus. And he's harking back to Isaiah 61, by the way. He recites Isaiah 61 in the temple. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because the Lord, capital R, L, O, R, D, has anointed me to bring good news to the poor or the afflicted. He has sent me to bro- blind, blind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives and the opening of the prison doors to those who are bound and who are blind, to proclaim the year of the Lord. Lord's favor and the day of vengeance of our God to comfort all those who mourn. Matthew 5 tells us, blessed are those who mourn because they will be sons of God. Blessed are those who mourn for their sins because they will see God. They will be sons of the kingdom and the daughters of the kingdom. And I comfort those who mourn to grant those who mourn in Zion to give them beautiful headdress instead of ashes. The garment of praise instead a faint spirit. You will rise up on wings of eagles. 
when your spirit grows faint. Doesn't the Bible tell us that? That you, Christian leaders church, may be a planting of the Lord and you will be oaks deeply rooted of righteousness. For the glory of God.